up everybody? This is Aaron and I am particularly stoked about the tutorial I have for you today. I have teamed up with Ilford and Xrite to take you guys through the printing process and preparing your portfolio for your next client meeting. I'm going to take you through everything from color calibration on your monitor to color calibration on your printer. So let's get started on calibrating your monitor. All right, before we get started, I want to take you through the products and software that I'm using just so you know. Uh, this is not a requirement by any means, but you will need some kind of color calibration before you hop into this tutorial. So the one I started with a while back by Xrite is their Color Monkey, and it's a photographer's kit. I still use the Color Checker Passport all the time, um, and the Color Monkey is fantastic. In fact, I've used it on commercial shoots for laptops and things like that. But recently, I switched over to the i1 Studio. And the real reason for that is because I wanted a little bit more control, so I'm being able to calibrate my printer through prints that I'm putting out, things like that. So it just gives you a little more control, but this is gonna work either way. So if you use the Color Monkey um, or any X-Rite or color calibration software, this is, is totally cool. As far as paper goes, I am using the Smooth Pearl from Ilford. It's their Ilford, Ilford Gallery. Uh, I use the Smooth Pearl, it's basically their luster. The reason I like that paper is because it's not super fingerprinty. So the problem that I've seen with gloss is they look beautiful when you print them, but then as soon as you touch them, there's fingerprints everywhere. So I would steer clear of that and stick with something like a smooth pearl or a luster, or even a matte if you're really into those black, black tones. Matte's really good for that. But think about how many hands are gonna be on this paper when you're handing it around to your different clients. Finally, I am using the Canon PIXMA Pro 100 printer, and it's been awesome. It's a workhorse of a printer. The support has been really good. I've had a couple problems, but they've always taken care of me. And their software, which I'm gonna walk you through, is fantastic. Really great to see what your prints are gonna look like without wasting a bunch of paper, without wasting a bunch of ink. So with all that said, let's dive into it. All right, so I'm hopped in front of my computer now, and I'm gonna briefly show you how to color calibrate your monitor. It's really pretty straightforward, and I don't want to confuse you guys. I mean, X-Rite has a ton of great tutorials, so if you need help with that, definitely go to them. But all I've done is popped up in my iWin Studio, and I'll show you guys some screenshots. And I'm just going to go to Display Calibration. Now, one of the quick things I wanted to say is if you have dual monitors like I do, make sure you calibrate both of them. The i1 and the Color Monkey both make it really easy to do both, and there's really no reason not to do that. So just make sure... Uh, both of them look the same, so when you're moving things around, it doesn't get confusing. So once you get in here, it's going to have you switch the dial back and forth. I already have this up just for speed sake because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Then you're going to hit next, and once it's ready, you're just going to hit start measurement process, and then it's going to go back through and start changing everything for you and you want it to do. I don't do RGB controls. My computer doesn't have that. My monitor um, and then the contrast also I do, and the brightness I can control. And this monitor does a really good job. It's an AOC, it's not even very expensive, but it's IPS, and you can control it enough to get it right in the sweet spot of where it wants it to be. So once you get that going, it's gonna start going through all these different colors. I'm not gonna sit here and make you wait through all of this. So let's fast forward, and we're gonna move on to the next part, which is printer calibration. So for this next one, you're going to see my screen a little bit, but then you're also going to see me right here doing the scanning for the printer check. So what you want to do is go into the print calibration in the i1 Studio, and then you're going to print this piece of paper right here. Now, it's important, use the Smooth Pearl 8.5 by 11, and that's a quick point that I did want to make is that get 8.5 by 11 in the same style that you print your big portfolio in because Holy smokes, it gets really expensive if you're printing these huge prints as your test. And you can use 8.5 by 11, no problem. 
and get these types of prints out and look at all the colors and make sure everything looks good before you go full bore and go 11 by 17 or 13 by 19 and find out the color is wrong. So first thing you wanna do is print out the test page. One of the things I wanna make sure I mention is that you need to turn off the color correction in the printer and make sure you're printing onto the correct paper type. So what you'll wanna do is here just do smooth pearl just so that it's there and then you're gonna click print and when you click print it'll pull up this dialog box but don't just hit print go into your preferences and you're going to click here on main and you want to make sure under media type you have photo papers and it's going to be photo paper pro luster and then you want to come into page setup hit print options and click disable the color profile setting and then click OK. So that's what you want to do. Make sure you do that before you print Then we'll click OK and then you can hit print. And then it's going to ask you to scan it in. So you just click your next once it's done. And this is real simple. All you do is you take and you push the button on the side, which is right here, and then you push it and pull straight down that row. So you push it pull all the way down and they'll say yep you're good to go and in that case I missed so I missed one so you can do it again so just make sure you start a little bit above push the button in pull all the way down and I'm not gonna make you watch me do all these so I'm gonna do these and I'll fast forward through it Okay, so it's up for my second test now. I'm gonna pull it in a blank, blank piece of paper. Print. Okay, we've got all the second one printed out and now we gotta do the same thing. So we're gonna scan all these in. I'm not gonna make you watch me do it. So you just go in and the same thing, you're clicking this button, you're in the i1 studio and you're just gonna go down each row. We'll go through it super quick. And that is our new profile. So that's the Canon Pro 100 series. I called it Smooth Pearl. Now, the cool thing is, is that Ilford already has these built for different printers. So if you have this printer, you can just use that. But this is gonna say specifically the way my printer prints, it's gonna use this profile and it's gonna put it right in my computer so that I can use it when I'm printing out of Photoshop. Speaking of Photoshop, let's get into that and let's start printing. We made it, we're in Photoshop. It's time to print some photos. I am super excited. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump back and forth from this camera view into my actual screen so you can see exactly what I am doing. The first thing I did was I brought this image in, I flattened it down and I cropped it to 11 by 17 so it was all ready to go. And now I'm gonna show you how to put your color profile in there. On my computer, all you're gonna do is hit Control, Alt, Shift, and P and that pulls up the Convert to Profile dialog box. Now, if for some reason you don't have that shortcut, or it would be Command Option Shift P on a Mac, you can just go into Edit and Convert to Profile here. Assign Profile is very, very different. You don't wanna do that. Definitely click the Convert to Profile and that'll bring you in. So then right here, you'll open this dialog, this big drop down, and there's gonna be, in mine, in my case, because I use some different ones, there's a lot. And I'm gonna find one called Canon Pro. This is the one we just made. And I'm gonna say, okay. And now that profile is inside there. From there, I do a couple other things. I also, and I'll bring this over so you guys can see. I also add a little curves adjustment layer. Um, so if you come in here and you go curves, there's also a little dialogue you can do, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Curves. And I'm just gonna pull it up just a little bit. If you watch on the screen, it's just gonna get a little bit brighter, nothing crazy. And then I also use a software called Nix, which is from Google now. They actually bought it and it is completely free. So there's no real reason not to. What you need to do is merge all to top. So Control, Alt, Shift, E, or Command, Option, Shift, E on a Mac. And then you're gonna go into Filter, Nick Collection. 
And you can get that from Google's website if you don't have it already. And then I use this output sharpener here. And this brings up this great dialog box that allows you to really look and see what's happening. If you can see on the bottom right, that's pretty heavy handed for me. So I'm gonna back this off and we are actually gonna go in here and do for an inkjet printer. And that is really heavy handed. So we're gonna pull this back a little bit. 76, a little less structure, a little less contrast. And then we're gonna click okay. Now, the great thing is because this is on its own layer, all you have to do is back off the opacity and I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see, and it gets pretty grainy. That's way too grainy for me, especially for a print. It'll come together a little bit, but not that much. I think I'm gonna drop this down to about 40% actually. That looks pretty good. I think that's gonna blend really nicely. So I'm gonna call that 40% and I'm gonna call that good. Now I'm gonna move this off the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's go back to this. And next we are gonna jump into the Canon Print Pro Utility. It's incredible. I wanna walk you through how to get the colors just right and make those tiny adjustments that give your print that little kiss of awesome. Now that we've got the color profile in, a little bit of sharpening, a little bit of exposure, now I am going to print. So what we'll do is we'll go into File, Automate, and Canon Print Studio Pro. Now if you don't have Canon Print Studio Pro, you can get it on their website. Uh, this is the printer that I use, so this is what I'm going to show you how to do. But it's totally free if you have a Canon printer. You just grab it and it's going to fire up this dialog box here. And here's where this software really shines, is over here in the color settings. And I'll go over these first settings here in just a second. But first thing I'm going to do is change this to a standard print quality, because we're going to print some tests and I don't want to waste ink. Then we're going to go in here and I'm going to reset all of this brightness for now. I'm just going to take it Actually, brightness and contrast, I'll take to zero. I'm gonna take everything to zero. These are my previous settings. And then I'm just gonna try and kind of find a happy space. Usually, I try to take the brightness up about seven points and the contrast up about two to three. And then you're gonna start playing with the colors a little bit. And here is where like, I think it needs a little more magenta yeah, that feels good. Pull in a little cyan, oh, pull it out. It's got that great yellow, so I want to push that yellow back in a little bit. So I'm at cyan minus three, magenta six, yellow five, as you can see, and brightness seven, contrast two. This is great, but I don't want to print an entire thing like this and have no idea what it's going to look like. So you need to scroll down to this kind of hidden feature it's called a pattern print, and this is great. You click that, it pulls up this dialog box, which allows you to print variations of the colors. You can do brightness and contrast variations, and you can do color variations. So I like to do kind of the large one, and I'm gonna zoom in. You see if you slide this slider, it'll zoom into the image, because I really just wanna see this area. And I want it to be large. It's much easier to see. I've tried the medium, and you get more variations, but usually you can get it pretty close with a little bit of practice. And then you're gonna just click print. Now I haven't put a piece of paper in there yet, so I'm gonna grab a piece of my, again, I'm using the Smooth Pearl because that's what we're gonna be printing on. I'm gonna jump out of camera really fast here. Okay, and now I'm gonna hit print. And it's gonna say, are these your settings? Say, yes, these are my settings. I like to show it because I like to know what it's set to and then click okay. Now in the next segment, I'm gonna pull this out for you so you can see it, and then we're gonna print the big grand finale. So here we go. This is awesome. So here is what it looks like all printed out. And mine was actually pretty close. Um, I, it, because of the way you have it on the screen and all the profiles we put in, it's pretty accurate. I actually think though, I like it with a little more magenta. So I'm going to come back in here and let me show you guys what I would do. So we already did that, so I'm gonna cancel out. And then I'm gonna come into the color settings and I'm gonna push a little bit more magenta. It's gonna be somewhere between where I am six and 16, so I think I'm gonna push it to about 10. And then I'm gonna pull a little more cyan out to like a minus five. And the yellow was pretty close. I feel like I'm good where it is. So that's all done there. 
Now we're going to go back into the print settings area. We're going to make sure, let's see, media type, we're not glossy, we are a pro luster is what we're going to put it as. And then that, not 13 by 19, but we are actually, so we'll go through, I'm showing you these dialog boxes, so we're an 11 by 17. Um, it's coming from the rear tray, and then we're going to say high standard for this one, because this is our go-to, we're actually doing the print now. So all these things are in, here's my profile, actually that's that one, the new one that we're using is the Canon Pro Smooth Pearl, which is awesome. And now, we're going to click print, and this should look fantastic. I will show you guys the final when it's all done. Let's get it printed. Well guys, it looks beautiful. It looks just like I thought it would. Here's a good shot of it right there. Beautiful colors, nice and sharp. And this is the joy of it, really. You get it done, you get to see it in person. Now, I was going to add a part to this video where I show you guys how to mount it for your portfolio, but we're going a little bit over, so I think I'm gonna do a completely separate video for that. It'll just be a couple minutes long because I've had so much trouble mounting the hinge strips. I actually came up with something that you guys can make that'll make it easier for you, but I will do that in the next video. So for this time, we're gonna sign off. Everything looks good. We did a lot, and uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate. Put a comment down below or shoot me an email. It's been super fun. Can't wait to see what you guys print. Until next time, be awesome.